This is Chloe with Cousin DIY. This month we're going to be featuring jewelry that will be trending this year. Our first project is Nostalgia. For this one we use bubblegum beads and we made our own resin accents for the bottom. So I'm going to get set up. I'll be right back and we'll get started. The first step is going to be to mix our epoxy resin and hardener together. You're going to want to protect your work surface. So I have some uh, protective covering here on my work surface and you're going to want to protect your hands. Um, if you're not in a well ventilated area, you might want to wear a mask as well. But uh, I'm in a well ventilated area today. Our silicone toolkit comes with these little finger cots, these little beakers, little pouring containers, stirrers, and these finger cots, there's 10, enough to protect all your fingers. You just roll them on. Or if, like me, you happen to have some disposable gloves handy, um, you can wear gloves and I'm gonna choose to wear the gloves today. This stuff gets really sticky. You don't want to get it on your hands or on your work surface. Come on, gloves. The resin and hardener that I have is um, to be used a one part to one part ratio. So even parts of each. And um, I found it helpful to mark my beaker with a little pen. Uh, there are milliliters marked out on the side here. And I found by mixing 20 milliliters each, I had plenty for the pendants I needed to made, make and I had extra to make extra pendants. So I'm going to carefully measure one part of the epoxy resin. To one part of the hardener. I think I've got that pretty accurate. And next we're going to stir it together for two minutes. Now I've got that pretty well mixed. And I'm going to pour equal amounts into these five containers that have these handy little spouts for pouring. Next, I'm gonna add glitter. I want to make a red pendant, a blue, a pink, a gold, and a white with a little bit of silver in it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll start with the blue. You want to pour in enough so that 
We have a nice bright color. Here's my blue. I'm going to do the same with my other four colors. With the white, though, I am going to add a little silver so that it stands out a little more than just plain white wood. Okay, now that we have our, our resin all mixed up and the glitter blended in, let's start pouring our accents. Now, I think I'm going to use the same ones that I did in the sample I showed you, which are, this would be the blue one right here. Now, when you're pouring, you want to pour right to the top of the mold and try not to, let me move this out of the way, and try not to overflow. But if you do, it can be very handy to have some Q-tips on nearby. I found those to be very helpful. So let's start with the blue. Now you want to make sure that you have your resin on a level surface as it cures. Um, I found that these take about 12 to 18 hours or over, overnight to harden. So we're going to set these aside. I did make some ahead of time. So I'll be right back and we can start putting our necklace together. Next, let's take our resin accents out of the mold. You can see they come out quite easily. They came out pretty well. Now we're going to create our beaded drops that hang on the middle of the necklace. The first step is to slide an eye pin up through, in this case, the red bubblegum bead. And I'm going to use a cheater bead. If you've watched uh, some of my previous videos, I, I often use a cheater bead. It's about eight millimeters and it just gives me um, a consistent length to trim the stem of eye pins and head pins so that uh, when I form the loop, they're, they're uniform. To form a loop right here. I that to be nice and snug. And next, uh, we're going to. Use an eight millimeter jump ring to connect our red pendant to this bead link. And we're going to go ahead and put a six 
millimeter jump ring on the other side of that bead length. And we'll set that aside. And we're gonna, I'm going to repeat this with my gold, pink, white, and blue pendants. Okay. Now that we have these all completed, We can start assembling our necklace. Okay. So I cut a length of beading wire. Oh, it's probably about 30 inches. And the first thing I'm going to do is put this little bead stopper on one end of my wire so that things won't fall off while I'm working with it. So we're going to start in the middle and I'm going to slide on, I've got some beads over here. First I'll slide on blue. I'm gonna use that jump ring because I want these to hang down a little bit between the beads on either side. So we'll put a red next to that. Next we'll do a gray. Oh no. We'll put a red next to that. Then we'll hang our pink. and a gray next to that one. So we'll do gold right in the middle. You can see how, how these hang down in between the beads on either side. Next, purple. Then white. You want to try to keep the um, top side of the resin accents and pendants on the upside here. Unlike I did there, I'm going to flip that around. Then blue. And red. And then I'm just going to start building using the same sequence of colors. I'm going to start adding beads on this side and that side. Um, you can make it longer, you can make it shorter, depending on how many beads you want to add. So I'm just going to start building. I'm going to go red, pink next. Last but not least, we need to attach our toggle clasps to each end of the necklace. To do that, we're going to use crimping tubes. So 
So the crimp tube goes on, the wire goes through the toggle and back through the crimp tube. Snug that up. Make sure that's nice and snug and then we're going to trim the tail. And we'll do the same on the other side. Ta-da! <laughs> Done. If you decide to step back in time and make your own nostalgia necklace, we'd love to see it. You can share it. You can share it with us on Instagram at hashtag CreateWithCousin. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time, everyone. Bye.